Nivers. I hope that this time my opening hello is recorded because it was not for the last few videos because my phone started recording a, se um, a second or two later. So let's see how it goes. Uh, the Nations League. We had yesterday the playoffs for Euro. Now we have the Nations League. And for the Nations League, I decided to go really retro with my first ever France jersey. That was won for Euro, Euro 96 and then in the Tour Noir de France in 97. And as you know, when this came out, I thought this is the best jersey ever. Not thinking that anymore, but it's a really cool one. Um, also, I arranged again the jerseys here a little bit in order as how they're currently ranked. Belgium really, really far out in France. Spain, Portugal, England, Italy, the Netherlands. Then we have to go over to Germany. I had originally England here, but I decided no, because if I go on the half screen, then I would get the number five team out of the view, which doesn't make much sense. So this is the number eight. This is the number eight spot here and then up there. Croatia, Switzerland, Sweden, Ukraine, Poland and Russia. But there is Denmark and Serbia in there as well. Anyway, let's look what's on this menu for this week. I have to say this is probably the round that will, or this so far, the most is the most affected by COVID, uh, especially League A. We have Spain play Switzerland and then Ukraine, Germany. And we know that Ukraine, I mean, uh, they had a 45 year old reserve goalkeeper got thrashed by uh, France 7 1 in a friendly already. Ukraine is in dire straits a little bit. But then on the other side, Germany still hasn't won the Nations League game. So I'm look, looking forward to what this uh, will dish up. I think those are the games to watch. I mean, the rest is really if you're just a hardcore Nations League fan. I mean, yes, Liechtenstein, Gibraltar is probably one the, for, for the hardcore fans and all the League C matchups. I have to say, League C uh, is not as intriguing to me as League D this time around. So, yeah, but Monday it seems like the late games are the ones you may want to watch. But honestly, if you need to skip Nations League, and you know, if you're an addict like me, might not be the worst thing to skip that because we have a big menu for Sunday. I mean, everything else is happening on Sunday. It's a little bit too compressed. And what happens is, and that's why I'm wearing the France jersey, we have France against Portugal, world champion against European champion, uh, and a rematch of the 2016 Euro final. I mean, in Croatia, Sweden, the second match in that group is not that uh, uninteresting. As is, of course, England, Bel Belgium, a replay of the third place playoff. That was played late twice at the last World Cup. So there's quite some stuff. Uh, and just if you look at the first uh, page, we have a, sec a second page here. But there's also Ireland, Wales, which I find highly intriguing. Although Ireland will be reeling from the loss against Slovakia. Uh, then you have probably England, Belgium, and then France, Portugal. I mean, that's the menu right there, but you can still choose. I mean, Norway, Romania could be interesting. Uh, Iceland, Denmark, if you like some Nordic action. I mean, there is quite some stuff in there to flip around, but I think Ireland, Wales, England, Belgium, and then France, Portugal. I mean, that's a glorious trio of matches right there. Um, other matches that Serbia, Hungary, Russia, Turkey, I mean, not that bad, Scotland, Slovakia also. Those are also two teams that are in the playoff finals and there's a little bit more League C, as I said. League C to me is less interesting than League D at the moment. And just for completeness sake, I decided let's go for match day four too because we have a really, I mean, I don't like that the Sunday is so packed and then the Wednesday will be so packed, but we get a nice schedule because we had now Friday off, we are getting uh, Monday off and then Thursday off and then a league start again on uh, Friday. So um, it's like this two days and then you can take a break. And if you want, you can take even three days and then you watch a whole lot. Germany, Switzerland, Ukraine, Spain. Germany, Switzerland sticks a little bit out. And of course, with a big clash, Liechtenstein and San Marino. Since I have the Liechtenstein jersey, which I didn't put now on the wall, but since I have that one, I'm watching out for my Liechtenstein. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say, I mean, this group with uh, San Marino, Liechtenstein and Gibraltar is just wonderful. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, Croatia, France. 
replay of the World Cup final again. Um, Italy, Netherlands is probably the big one here. And here you see already a little bit, everything is a little bit later. I think Finland, Ireland of the early kickoffs is uh, a sleeper probably, and then everything is all late kickoffs. I mean, Italy, ne Netherlands, more than Romania, Austria, though this is revenge for the Austrians. And yeah, England, Denmark, that sounds like always a good one too. And Croatia, France. So, I mean, there are quite some interesting ones in there. Russia, Hungary, that's Cold War times. Also very interesting. And yeah, so those are the games. As I said, I will update you every time. That's my suggestions what to watch. Let me know what you'll be watching. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. The first match is a uh, summary from the Nations League. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.